All right, so I've taken the factory motor mount uh, stand or whatever off the frame cushion off the frame on the driver side. And if you look, this this long slot right here is where the fuel lines come through the factory frame to hook up to the motor that was in the truck. Now these these have nuts on the back side. So it's almost impossible, or it is impossible, to get to the bolts with the suspension um, bolted together. But you can stick a wrench through there and hold the nuts on this side. On this side, there were no factory, there was no factory hole here. So what I've done is I've drilled two holes in the frame, and then I'm going to take a cutoff wheel and make me an access hole on this side so that I can get to the nuts on the back side of these bolts right here to get this factory frame mount off. All right, here you go. It's almost cut all the way through. And then I'll take a um, grinding bit and clean that up a little bit. All right, there you go. Now we'll grind this clean just a little bit and we'll be able to get these bolts out of here. All right, there it is all cleaned up. All right, so we got the other frame mount removed, frame cushion, whatever you want to call this thing. Got it removed, and we're ready to start fitting the motor mounts. All right, here's the motor mount plate saw drilled and uh, frame mount saw bolted up and everything. So we're going to get these things bolted on the, the frame and um, get it all ready to go. So get this going on. We got uh, our clutch and flywheel here. Water pump's been ordered, it's on its way, belt, plugs, and just other little things are on their way, and uh, we'll get that stuff going on just as soon as we get it here, but uh, everything's coming together right nicely. So, I got my motor mount plates bolted to the frame the bolts are in the mounts and the mo motor is pretty straight in the frame um might still have some some steering column issues. We'll figure that out as we go. But I mean that's that's minor. We'll, we'll work that out. Um, I think we're going to put this uh, the center bearing cross member back in and build a plate for the front of it to bolt the transmission to slip yoke. Uh, Slip is perfect. Um, transmission centered in the, the frame. I like the way it looks. Dry shaft's all hooked up. It's not a real long shaft, which worked out great. Um, the cab is, is centered where I want it. Um, like I said, probably going to either raise the back or lower the front a little bit more. We'll, we'll work on that as we go along. But I like the way it worked out. It's looking good. Still got plenty of header clearance. 
Like I said, we'll work that steering shaft out. That's not a gigantic, huge issue. Um, but my motor mount plates turned out nice. Um, my exhaust clearance on that other side is good. And that worked out really nice. So I think that's going to work. I think it's, I like it. Um, got pretty, plenty of firewall clearance. Well, it's a little close right there, but I've seen factory cars that was worse than that. So that's not a bad deal. Um, yeah, I like that. Think everything's gonna work out pretty good. So once we get the transmission cross member straightened out, um, we might slide this thing up a little bit just to get some drive shaft clearance. So we'll, we'll see. Um, I mean, we can always, we can always shorten this, this cross member and instead of having it sitting on the frame, we could bolt some plates up underneath the frame and have it sitting on the plates on either side. Bolt a, bolt a plate right about there and have it sitting directly up under it. We'll have to see, I mean, I think that's probably the height we're gonna need. We got to measure the pinion angle and all that and figure it out, but, um, well, like I said, we'll work that out. It's no huge deal. Um, But once we get that, then we'll decide, we'll set the floor back in here and decide um, if we're gonna raise the back up or if we're gonna try to lower the front a little bit more and um, get our cab height set and go ahead and get to building some, uh, some cab supports. And uh, once, we, once we do that, then we'll get to working on the um, radiator support mounts and all that. Um, so once I get the, the cab height decided, then I can trim my inner fenders and get them put back in, trim the radiator support, put it back in, and then figure out our radiator support mounts on the frame in the front. Um, I might, I might go ahead and mock up a power steering pump so we'll know where we all, where all that falls out at. And, uh, we'll just, we'll just go from there and see how everything works. I want to, want to check all, all my clearances out and make sure all my clearances are good. But I, I really like the way it's it's working out. Um, and actually, that steering column clearance might not be an issue at all because you know this is the the collapsible column, and it's collapsed all the way in. So if we pull it out to where it normally sits, then that um, that joint there is going to clear the headers. So that won't be an issue. Um, I don't know where the column comes out from the truck, but I mean, we'll get all that worked out. It's just minor details once, once things start coming together. Um, 
I really don't think any of that's going to be a big problem. But I like the way it's I like the way it's working out. I really like the way the rear end worked out and the drive shaft. That's those are big issues there. Um, I mean, I always could have built a shaft, but I mean, a factory shaft is is nice because it was built and balanced, and it's all good, ready to go f from the factory, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, But it's getting late, so I'm I'm gonna call it. I'll, I've I've been working on my my GMC Sonoma the past couple of days. I got um I had to put a starter on it, which I got off my parts truck, and uh, did some brake work, and I've got to swap the rear end out. I'll probably do that sometime tomorrow, also. So I don't know. If I'll get around to the transmission cross member tomorrow or not, but we'll see. Um, but the mounts were a big thing, getting them straightened out. So I got that done. Like I said, I got my clutch and flywheel. Um, got a lot of the um, engine parts coming. So, I mean, the accessories like the water pump and uh, all that little stuff it takes to make one run. So, it's coming together. Really pleased with it. And uh, I'll show you more as we get more done. Um, it's, it ain't going to be long now. So, y'all stay tuned.